Hi, I'm Anthony of Argentina with Grunfoss, and this is the machine tool trailer. The machining process starts with a raw piece of material, so that could be like a metal or like a carbide. And essentially what happens is you have to remove mass from it because it's so dense that you can't shape it or mold it. So involved in that process are things like drilling, milling, or grinding. With that process, uh, creates a lot of friction when you're doing that process and you need some sort of coolant. So this pump, commonly known as an immersible pump, or a coolant supply pump. Uh, there's a bunch of different names for it. This is our MTR pump. And come on over, I'll show you a couple features in here. So starting from the bottom, which is the suction side down here, we have a we have a screener to protect it from any of the chips or things like that. Because when you're milling and drilling and doing those things, uh, the byproduct will be some sort of chips or abrasive materials. So we have that to protect the pump from the innards. Uh, the overall inside of the pump is very similar to the CR vertical multi-stage pump. So nice, tight tolerance and tellers, helps a lot with efficiency. And as the, the liquid goes up, uh, fills with pressure. And, and this is the discharge right here. Uh, we still get the nice cartridge seal with the MTR pump. So really easy on the service side versus the standard CR, which typically comes equipped with EPDM elastomers. Uh, we go with Viton because you know with the coolant that we're pumping, we're actually it's actually an oil-based coolant. Uh, so it just holds up a little bit better with, with the pump material. So these pumps typically are used on the supply side. So on the CNC machine, it'll be pumping coolant to the machine, cooling the tooling down uh, to ensure it doesn't overheat. And then after that, it goes to the filtration process. So uh, when, you're, when you're cutting, you have a lot of chips and you need to filter it so you can reuse the coolant. You know, the coolant's not a one-time one -time use kind of, kind of liquid here. Uh, so this pump, this MTR pump and some of our other pumps as well, uh, particularly like the CRE and the CME, can be used in those filtration processes. So that's where there's some sort of bag filter or specialized filtration system to get all the abrasive or chips out. And that's where you can see some of these pumps on the post filtration side. A couple other things about the MTR pump, because it's an immersible or tank mounted pump, the pump sits, sits here and the motor is the only thing that's exposed. Uh, and depending on the size of the tank, you actually have to add or subtract stages here to hit, hit the liquid. Uh, so that's really important there because you don't, obviously don't want to run a centrifugal pump dry. We also have a priming screw down there to kind of help out a little bit with the dry running. But what we do, which is really neat here, this one does have all the impellers in here, but we actually add and subtract impellers in here to hit the duty point, but also to hit the immersion depth of the liquid. So a good example is actually these two pumps are very, very similar. This one is a little bit bigger from a flow perspective, but you can see this one only has about four stages in here. So. We definitely change the size of the pump based on the application, but also based on the immersion depth. In addition to machining, a lot of these pumps are actually used in other applications such as chillers, uh, car wash, parts washings as well. So when you're doing that CNC machines, you're done with the process, you pull the tools out or whatever you're making, uh, you know, automotive parts, nuts, bolts, whatever it might be, even like medical devices and things like that, you're gonna have to wash them because they have a, that abrasive material. They're a little dusty, nasty, cruddy. You know, you get the coolant everywhere. So this CME pump is really good for like a parts washer. So those typically are a little bit higher pressure. So the multi-stage factor, the CM pump is really good. And then just a nice tight fit because most of these parts washers are nice small cabinets. Uh, so we have, we have the CM pump, but also the CRE. The CRE is a great pump, on, again, on the filtration side. So once those chips are clean, getting it back out, getting that coolant back out to the machine so it can be used again. The CRE is a great pump to deliver that coolant out there, but it could also be used in some sort of uh, parts washer application and things like that. This big guy right here, the stainless steel end suction pump right here is really good for centralized filtration systems. Uh, we're talking high flows, so big machining centers where they're making many, many parts uh, running over 20 machines or so, and they need a lot of coolant all the time. So that's a really good pump for that. All right, so I talked a lot about filtration and things like that. Uh, which is more, and I talked about how our pumps deliver the coolant to the system. So that's more on the clean side. In addition to, you know, clean stuff, we also have pumps for dirty applications. So that's when those chips and the coolant are kind of mixed in and the, and the coolant's not 100% clean. And we need to pump that to the filtration system so it can't be cleaned and reused. So that's where our MTD pump comes in. Uh, this MTD pump is a multi-stage uh, centrifugal pump with semi-open impellers to allow for uh, solids to pass through. Uh, the little brother to the MTD is the MTA. So the MTA uh, has a little bit smaller impeller and it's actually only single stage. So a little bit lower flow and pressures, 
uh, but typically on the localized uh, systems, this is actually a great option uh, and works really, really well. The little brother of the MTR pump is actually the MTH and MTC. So this is a little bit more of a compact unit because you don't have the split coupling. It's a single shaft, the pump shaft and motor shaft are the same. Uh, really good pump, again, for tight applications or small, small applications. And then coming over here, we actually also have our MTS pump or machine tool screw. This is actually a positive displacement pump, uh, particularly used in grinding applications and things like that where they need really, really high pressure coolant. Uh, so this goes well over 1,000 PSI and really, really good for high pressure applications. Last but not least, we have our MTR e pump. Uh, you know, this one's mounted in a tank. But we've actually been using this pump in the car wash market by modifying it a little bit, you know, adding a, a, a different bottom for, for a suction connection and then also adding some elastomers in there because typically in the machining industry, the oil-based coolant is a natural lubricant. So we actually had to add some elastomers and we actually wall mount this pump out there and run it at a little bit higher speed to help out uh, chemical dispersion and in-bay wash systems in the car wash market. So this is a really good example of Grunfoss using the technology it has to branch into new, new locations and applications. All right, so I'm out of here.